up friends how are ya welcome to this week's vlog this is a very special vlog because the format of this vlog is going to be a little bit out of the norm <laughs> what we're doing is tonight is date night with the husband brooke and we are going to do a very fun cook at home dinner situation that i want to vlog we are actually cooking an every plate meal this vlog is sponsored by every plate so we're gonna do that but then i actually vlogged last thursday because last thursday was a very action-packed day and we haven't had an action-packed vlog in literally four months so after tonight's date night i'm gonna roll the footage from thursday what happened on thursday just so you know i got my first pap smear i went to the ob gen and i wanted to vlog the experience because i have been putting it off for years because because nobody has ever talked about it and I didn't know what to expect and I was terrified. So I decided to vlog the process to spread awareness about women's health and maybe spread the awareness about cervical cancer and help to take preventative measures. I'm trying to do something good even though it's very uh, personal. <laughs> And also, groomers opened back up in California. So Max got his very first haircut and let me just say, it's hilarious. We did not recognize him picking him up and it is just the best thing ever. So stay tuned for that. We have a lot of fun things coming up in this vlog. But first, let's get to cooking. We're starting the vlog with a date night. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> this is actually something that we both really look forward to doing is cooking with every plate at home. And I always start off by explaining why I like every plate because now it's been like a year and a half ago, I did a meal kit review where I compared four popular meal kits and every plate ended up being my winner because it was really delicious and by far the cheapest. Like actually buy a lot, a lot. And before we get into it, I do have a promo code that's really great. And since we're all kind of still staying at home trying to stay out of grocery stores, I think it's super helpful to get your groceries delivered. So with code JANCY3, you can get three weeks of meals and each meal is only $2.99. That's cheap. That's cheaper than Del Taco. And you're like, uh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's there. It's like fast food cheap, but quality ingredients at home. So this week what we ordered is the Mediterranean lemon chicken bowls. And for me, they let you know what allergens are present. So I got two that are completely gluten-free. They don't have wheat containing ingredients. The other one is roasted garlic and Dijon butter steak. And then I got this one cause I thought you would really like it. And I figured eventually I can just use my like pea protein noodles in addition to it, but it's linguine carbonara with peas and bacon. That sounds good, right? Sounds good. We should make that maybe tomorrow. But today, we're actually having a dinner right now. It's it's actually only two, so we'll be eating at like three. So I figured this one sounded the most like lunch dinnery, the Mediterranean lemon chicken bowls with Greek salad and garlicky rice and feta. Sounds, sounds pretty good. good, huh? Max is like dancing in the background. He's very excited for He's it. He's so excited. Okay, so I love that everything comes like pre-portioned and like, for example, just as much tomato as you need. <laughs> I won't like overbuy and then let it go to waste, which is really nice. So let's see. The first couple of steps are wash and dry all produce and finally chop garlic. Would you rather chop the garlic or wash the produce? Wash the produce. Okay, I I'll chop. The <laughs> I like chopping the garlic. Good. I'll chop the garlic and we also can start the rice right now. So it says add one cup of water and a pinch of salt, bring to a boil, stir in rice. Okay, I'll do the rice and, and the produce. produce. Perfect. Because I have to wash like these two things. Yeah, there's only two things of produce to wash. And I need to start chopping how much garlic? Two cloves. Get your lips ready to, to cook. Very dry. It's a massive clove of garlic. You want you to use that whole thing? Well, two cloves, but this is two cloves basically, right? What is this? That's a Persian cucumber. I had no idea. I was like, it's too small to be a zucchini or a cucumber. <laughs> so, uh, one cup of water, a pinch of salt, and this rice and you bring to a boil. Guys, this is the biggest garlic clove I have seen in my life. Look at this. This is in relation to my hand. This is one clove of garlic. Is that not massive? That is huge. Oh, also one thing that's so nice that I forgot to mention is, I'll wait. <laughs> Perfect timing. Is all the recipes take around like 30 minutes and they'll tell you the time quote. So I actually picked the longest recipe. Sorry, this takes 35 minutes. So for example, if you know that you want dinner ready by 7.30, you know to start making this at 6.55 and it'll be ready. Pretty cool. Yeah. Wow, this is one clove, but look how much that is. That is so much. I'll start dicing the cucumber and the tomato and the lemon. We will be back with our final result, but in the meantime, enjoy some B-roll. B-roll, B-roll. <laughs> 
You okay there, bud? This is like a big paper clip. <laughs> is that confusing to you? Yeah. Cheers! Break through the plating. Looks beautiful. Looks very fresh and healthy. They have a nice array of like healthy and then like more like comfort food type things. But we're saving our first bite to do a taste test with y'all. I got a little bit of everything. Me too. Cheers. The rice is really good. Mm hmm. I mean, butter garlic rice. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Delicious. Thank you, Every Plate, for sponsoring today's vlog. We love you, seriously. I have tried probably like seven meal kits now in my life, and you're still by far my favorite, by far the most affordable, accessible, and a fun activity to do. And delicious. And delicious. And nutritious. <laughs> we got we got steak for later this week. <laughs> now roll Thursday's footage because it's pretty hilarious. Max, the haircut. Oh. <laughs> he knows. He knows that we think he looks ridiculous. I have a very grumpy boy. You want to go? Okay, not that way. That's not a smart way to go. Thank you for this angle. It is Thursday morning. What's your plan here? Do you want to go off that way? I'm starting this vlog super duper early. I need to take Max out. I need to make breakfast today. Brooke is taking Max to get his first haircut since we have had him. Um, Groomer has just opened back up in LA and poor guy is very in need of a haircut. I have an ob gen appointment today and I have my first pap smear in my whole life. And I've been putting it off for a couple of years because I'm terrified of it and there's no information anywhere. So I figured maybe it would be helpful for me to uh, be open about it online. Because if I had people be open about it, maybe I wouldn't be so scared to actually go and take my health and to check. I hear him eating trash. Just a minute. Excuse me, what did you do? <gasps> no, no. That just means I need to take out the trash. You are rebellious this morning. I need to take him to run some of this energy off. Dude, it's so early. <laughs> are you so excited for your appointment? This might be the last time we see you super fluffy. I didn't tell you, this morning we were, uh, he was pooping <laughs> and an old man walked by and like smiled and then saw Max and was like, <gasps> hello fluffy dog. <laughs> <laughs> you fluffy dog, but you might be shaved dog. Sorry if you can hear the leaf blower in the background. I love leaf blowers, they're my favorite. So I called to confirm. I do have an appointment today. Um, I never got any sort of confirmation. And I have had this appointment since the beginning of the year. And they like booked a couple months out. And the first appointment, I started my period literally like 15 minutes before the appointment. And I called them and I was like, this is gonna sound like a lie. I promise it's the truth. I'm leaving the do out the door right now, but I just started my period. What do you want me to do? And they're like, oh, that can alter the results. So stay home. And I was like, great, cool. And then we were scheduled for another couple months later and an audition popped up the same day that I had to go to. So I called them again and I was like, I'm so sorry to do this, but I just had an audition pop up and I can't refuse auditions. So I'm gonna have to reschedule. They rescheduled again. Then this was after March when obviously things were shutting down due to COVID and I never got any sort of confirmation. So I called them the day of my appointment being like, I am supposed to have an appointment today, but are you even taking appointments anymore? And they were like, oh my gosh, so sorry. We should have told you, but no, we are moving all appointments to June. So now we're in June. And now six months later, the time is here. <laughs> quite the quite the ride and I am terrified, but um, I'll take you along with me. My plans for this morning, I've been working. It's already 10 and I'm gonna work out. I actually have self tanner on right now though. And it's probably a bad idea to work out in self tanner cause sweat, but I'm not gonna shower and then work out and then shower again. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Just sit with me Talking to the night into the morning Building cat mystery I don't think I ever want to go Come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be You make me anxious I 
have showered and gotten ready and just packaged up four Poshmark packages. I did a closet clean out video this week and I kind of didn't expect anything to sell before the video goes out, but things have been selling really fast, but I wasn't expecting that. So I packaged those up to take those and I made the world's largest matcha latte. So good. I have a lot of people ask me just to do a tutorial on how to make matcha. I don't feel qualified because I don't do it like the proper traditional way. I kind of do it the lazy girl meets traditional way, but I would still be happy to do a video if that's what y'all really like. You just have to know that it's not the, the most proper way, you know? So I have about an hour before I have to head out. I, let me think of what I have left to do. I have to finalize two videos being uploaded and I have to get together all of the information for Bible study tonight. And I have just a few more emails to respond to and I think that that should take up the remaining time that I have left before going to the post office and then going to my appointment, which I'm really, really not looking forward to. I'm really dreading it. To health. You're going to be a short haired summer dog. Wait, what are you gonna tell the groomer to do? I've been quizzing Brooke over and over so they don't like shave him like a rat. Shave him. No. Entirely. No. All the way down to the skin. No. What are you gonna tell them? Shave his body and leave his legs. No. <laughs> shave his legs only. <laughs> We thought about uh, asking, <laughs> we would never do this. These are a couple of my really good ideas. Uh, shave everything except for just leave what looks like a crop top around his torso, or shave everything except for basically a mohawk down his whole body, but make it like this. So it looks like a, what is that, a stegosaurus? Yeah. Oh, my thanks, Mixie. We're both about to have appointments we don't like. Except for yours, you're gonna leave beautiful, and mine, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna leave. Hopefully healthy. Healthy, wealthy, and wise. <laughs> he says, I got it, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I got it. <laughs> this toy's as big as you. I'm about to leave, and Max left his toy just sitting up like a little human. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Okay, we're gonna go to the post office, and then we're gonna go to my appointment, and I'm not gonna lie, I am very nervous. I don't want to go to the old beach and why do we have to? I know it's important. This is my song about being anxious about going to the OBGYN. I hope you enjoyed my song. Okay, packages have been dropped off. I just realized though I touched a gas pump because my car was on empty and I touched the little like package parcel drop thing four times and I don't have any form of hand sanitizer. Okay, I am here. I have a little bit of time to kill, which is fine because I have more emails I can respond to on my phone. But at the beginning of the month, they sent out this email saying like, whenever you have an appointment, you'll receive a confirmation text and then respond to the confirmation text when you've arrived and then we'll text you and you can go in, which is why I called this morning because I've never received any sort of confirmation text. And so now I don't have a way to tell them I've arrived. So I guess I just gotta go in, but they're doing temperature checks at the door. I saw when I was driving by, so that's good. All right. Here we go. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> Think I'm stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me. It seems that you're dropping clues. Guys, I did it. I feel like my lips feel gross from being stuck inside that mask. Look at my makeup in it. <laughs> it was definitely not as bad as I'd built up in my mind, for sure. It was so quick. The whole thing took maybe 30 seconds. I'm out of breath because I decided to take the stairs instead of the elevator up five floors, which is not that high. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely not. It was it was one tenth of what I was expecting, which is great. Sorry, I turned on my AC because it's, it's hot. But um, I hope this is not TMI, too graphic, but cervical health is important, so I figured I should share it because if someone would have shared with me what to expect, I probably would have gone two years ago when I was supposed to go instead of putting it off for, well, two and a half years now. You're supposed to start at 21. If you care to know what to expect if you are someone else my age that has never had a pap smear before. I will explain it in the next 20 seconds. If you don't care, skip the next 20 seconds. But they have a little like clamp device that they insert and use to open and get a clear view of your cervix. And then they push this little brush into your cervix and take a little swab. And honestly, the most uncomfortable part was the clamp. I was expecting the swab to be the most uncomfortable part. I did not feel the swab at all, surprisingly. And the clamp honestly kind of just felt like when you put in a tampon wrong 
and it's like uncomfortable, but like a little bit deeper than that. Like if you put in a long tampon, a little bit wrong. That kind of like uncomfortable pinch is what it felt like. Not bad at all. So there's our little women's health uh, mission of the day is spreading awareness of what to expect so that hopefully if you're 21 or older and putting off getting a pap smear that you go ahead and get it done. Yeah, I will be going every year. Some places say every three years. My nurse just now told me they still recommend every year, at least here, if you want to be vigilant. So I will be doing it every year because that was not bad at all. It was just scary to make the appointment. And Max should be done with his haircut very soon. So let's go pick him up here soon and see what he looks like. We're about to have to start heading back towards where Max is being groomed to pick him up soon. But since I did something good today and finally went to a doctor's appointment that I was procrastinating for two years. We're gonna pick up ice cream on the way. We're gonna support a little local spot and do grab and go and have it in the car. So it's a win-win-win. I'm very excited about it. I'm also excited to see what Max looks like because tell them, I haven't told them yet what you said. They said that there was a big mat in his fur and so they have to cut down that far on him all around so that he's even. So he's gonna be pretty not fluffy. I like him fluffy, but we knew that was gonna be an issue. It's where his collar rubs. So the collar just like rubs it into a mat. And that's what we've been trying to get out ourselves, but we couldn't we couldn't do it ourselves. So it's gonna shave it all off, I guess. He might look like a little rat. It's probably gonna look really funny. He probably is gonna look really I'm funny. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. They have gluten-free cones, except for I'm not really familiar with how to eat ice cream on cones because I never get them. I'm kind of just making a mess, but also vegan. Most of their vegan flavors were sold out except for vanilla and tiramisu, and tiramisu is not gluten-free. So that's how I chose what flavor I got. What flavor did you get? Espresso. Mmm. Ooh, that's nice. I think I just broke my cone. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even look like the same guy. Oh, man. <laughs> what did your dad do to you? He had to get shaved down. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, now his tail kind of <laughs> looks dumb. <laughs> Listen, you're the one who told me to tell him not to touch his tail. No. <laughs> we want to see if Max will even recognize himself in the mirror. Do you want to like carry him and turn him around? Yes. So like make sure he can't see himself. And then when I say go, turn him around to see. Oh, it's really bright in here. Okay, ready? Ready? Do you recognize yourself? <laughs> He just wants to, I don't think he cares. He doesn't care what he looks like. Look at his pink skin. Max, we're the same. We have very pink undertones. You're so tiny now. Look You're in the so mirror. Tiny. Max, Max, come here. Max, who's this? Come here. He doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. Itchy. Oh yeah, I that feel good. Oh wow. Wow. But you look like a different dog. Let me smell your breath. Did they brush his oh, teeth? Yeah. You smell good. He got good breath? They clean your ears too. <laughs> Sweetie boy. He really doesn't like his tail. Uh-uh. Do you regret us telling them to leave you a fluffy tail? I think it's tickling him, which is why he's so mad about it. Maybe we can like braid it. Braid his tail? We could try. Just like wrap this up. It's like a little ponytail. Yeah, it would just be like a... He says, what are you guys doing? This is our Bible study setup. I put my computer on a mixing bowl to make it tall enough to be at eye level when we're in this table and so we can sit next to each other. Hey, you ready for Bible study? <laughs>